All right, boys and girls, I made a training where I'm going to show you how you can pump up your conversions um, using WooCommerce and um, Elementor Pro. Now, we all know that WooCommerce's product pages are pretty lame, so we're going to have to change them up a little bit to um, make it you know, more appealing to the user. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that with WooCommerce and Elementor, but I want to talk about, but if you already know how to do that, I just want to, in the beginning right now, I'm going to talk about the elements that need to be on your page to increase um, conversions. So this might look like your standard page, but we have changed it up a bit. There are a few elements here that make it different and have uh, been proven to increase um, your conversions, but obviously please um, you know, use this um, to test out, to do some testing on your site before you apply all elements. If you already have an e-commerce that's running, um, try and implement one element at a time and see if that increases um, conversions or decreases. Okay, so what I did here was I, as you can see, these are Bose products. What I did was I was looking at the Bose page and Basically, this is what it looks like when you land on it. And it has this uh, navigation. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, you should probably have a navigation too, unless it's a funnel, yeah, unless it's a funnel. And in that case, you would need cart flows. It has a free version that you can use on your page, on your website. But I'm sure this works pretty well for Bose. And, but I don't think it, there are a few elements here that could be improved if you are not Bose, because the fact is that Bose is a brand that everybody knows and has heard of. So they know what they're going for. They, 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 Bose is positioned in a way that um, people know what they're going to get. In your case, you might have a product that people don't know. So this type of page is not going to work for you because I'll explain to you why, but I don't need to know all this stuff if um, I'm not Bose. Probably if I'm Bose, um, if I'm a user that wants to buy Bose, I know what I'm going to buy and um, the only friction I might have is the price. It might be too high for me. So saying that I can pay in 30 days, that could be something that entices me to buy. And um, yeah, so they put all the features at the, uh, under the fold. And I'm just going to show you how I'm, I changed the product page so your product page will convert more, in my opinion. So this is it. Basically, what we did was, let's say we're selling earbuds also. Obviously, do not use the Bose um, product image. Use your own, of your own product. What I did was I put a testimonial right in this position. And I did that because it's a pattern interrupt. It's different from most product pages. And it makes people read, it makes people stop. Um, it's not a given. And uh, with a authentic testimonial, um, you can really convey a lot of information. And we can show you, you can even add a rating to this, a five star rating. If the testimonial you got for the product was five star, do add the five stars here because that's um, subliminal information that's going to the user um, telling you that this is a top notch product. The next element is you would expect to see the product title here, but what we did was we put in a tagline. This is another way of communicating a lot of information um, in one sentence. And um, instead of using the product title, we prefer to use this because this is what, I mean, okay, the product title is obviously important, but this is what they will be getting. This is what the user is gonna be getting when they buy this product. So that's why we made the size this big, bigger than the product title, because this is what we want people to see. We want people, this message to get to them immediately. This is obviously the product title. This is the price. And this is the product description. And uh, usually what a lot of people do is they cram in a lot of text in this so that <clears throat> this ends up being a wall of text and people do not read that <clears throat> another bad thing that happens is it pushes down the add to cart button and um, 
usually the call to action should be above the fold so people know what they uh, have to do to add this to the cart. Now, one thing about the product description is it has all the benefits that this product gives. Now, not so much the features, but the benefits. I'm pretty sure you know what that means, but if you don't, basically, don't be saying how many decibels or you know the technical stuff. Give them um, the benefits of having this product. How will this change their habits, their their life? So we added what was under the fold for Bose. We put it above the fold because this, in my opinion, is really important. It's a way of summarizing more um, reasons why people should buy the product. Don't put in too many. Three to five should be enough. Um, the really um, core benefits should be put here. And then we added um, these things, which basically is uh, what this product includes. So, And then we made it a little bit smaller because it's not as important, but I think it should be there um, so people know what is included with this product. Obviously, you can have more images over here. We just added one. And um, the last element that's above the fold is going to be this social um, proof element, which basically is how many likes the product has or recommendations the product has. If you have a product page, a, sh a Facebook page, try to add this if you can. If you have any likes, if you don't, then it doesn't matter. Um, this, I think, is really important because it just um, makes the user want to find out more by scrolling down. Over here, you can add the five stars of the testimonial, or if you have a lot of reviews that are above four um, stars or whatever, add that in and I'll show you how to do that. And under here, what I decided to do was, these are elements that on the Bose um, product is kind of above the fold. So this is the, the, the voucher, $20 voucher, the 10 day, 90 day risk, free trial, free delivery, and free return delivery. Now, I think these things are really important for normal e-commerces because they really um, push, push the envelope, how do you say that, you know, make it really a no-brainer for the person to buy because they're like, okay, I have a 90-day risk-free risk trial. In 90 days, why 90 days? You'd think that that's really bad for your business, but it's not because what happens is if you put a really small um, trial on your product, people are going to be pushed to ask way more refunds. When they have 90 days, what happens is that the 90 days pass and they don't even realize it because when they buy the product, they're like, oh, cool, cool, I have three months to try it out. And what happens is that maybe habit gets uh, forms and they start liking the product and um, they decide to keep it. But if the trial is really short, they're in a rush to, you know, try it out. And they're like, oh, I'm not I'm not that convinced. And they and they ask for a refund. So making it a nine day risk field trial, what happens is it lowers your um, return rate, your refund rate and all that stuff. Free delivery. That's a no brainer. Free return delivery. That's an extra. Um, and the voucher is also a really good thing. You don't obviously have to add this, but what I'm saying is these are all things that are included with all the products you buy, all the products that you're offering. So this is going to be part of your product template um, that you don't have to modify each time for each product. Um, you can obviously include it on the template or you can just add it manually um, to each product. There are a few other elements that are on page but below the fold and obviously what happens here is they continue to um, talk about the benefits so the claimed life uh, acclaimed lifelike sound is explained more in detail images you know more design and stuff like that so this continues on all the way down so definitely add this this is something that WooCommerce pages obviously don't have you have to add this to each product page. I definitely recommend you do this. This increases product conversions. Instead of having that lame um, product page, which is only this, add all this stuff here because people need to know everything there is to know about your product before buying. And I wanna go all the way down where, okay, so this is one thing that they're, they're taking you out of the product page. Do not include anything that's gonna take people out of the product page. Um, you just 
going to lower your conversion rates statistically if you add links to other areas. They added, um, you know, what's included. We, you, can, you can add this again on the below the field, but what we did was we added it above the field also in short format. Um, some specs, but the main thing I want to show you was the reviews. Definitely add reviews if you have them. Put them in there because they're really important. These are these look very similar to the Amazon type of reviews. Um, you can add any type you want. It doesn't really matter, but definitely have a star rating, um, some text if you can, um, the name of the person. And then lastly, FAQs. Definitely add some FAQs. Take uh, you have to remove all doubt. Um, any doubts that the buyer might have in their mind so that they are, you know, uh, when they buy, they're like, you don't want to have any friction in their mind of what's going to happen next so that, so that they're more inclined to buy the product. If they have any doubts about your product, that's going to not help them buy because, you know, naturally, I'm not sure I have to explain that. And that's basically it. That's basically the main elements um, that you should have on your product page. Let's look at this Skull Candy page. And this is also another famous brand. They don't have all the elements. Oh, but they do though. They have this, which is basically um, the tagline. That's what I was saying. The tagline, why they should be buying this. Then this is the name of the product. They have the price, the reviews. If you want, add them. If you have a lot, add them. And um, basically, yeah, these are the options add to cart. I would, since this is skull candy, they don't have to add the benefits because probably everybody knows what they are. But then what they do is they, they tell them below the fold what these benefits are. If you don't want to add them in above the fold because it takes too much space, add them, definitely add them right below the fold so people know what they're getting. And your the main objective of your above the fold is to um, make them scroll or click the button to buy at the cart, make them scroll more and not leave the page without, without, um, understanding all there is to understand about your product. Also very good. This, um, this little thing that pops up at the bottom. So they add the cart So the add the cart button is always um, available to them. What they do is then they, um, they expand on the benefits. So as you see, Awesome graphics, expand, really easy to read. The main benefit, description, etc., 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 etc. Go down. People using the product. Um, this is ba this is a trick people use. You don't know if this dude was referring to the um, Skull Candy product, but what they did here was that they use a quote, and people. Um, suppose that they associate this with the product. No one, there's no proof that this was being said about the product. So you can use this technique um, pretty easily. So maybe find someone that is, you know, part of um, the the scene. So maybe a, a pro skater or something that you know might have said something that you could use to. Um, obviously, you try not to get try to use something that's legal. But I'm pretty sure you can use people's quotes without um, being, uh, without having problems because you're just using a quote. You're not saying anything about it. The association is implicit. It's not explicit. So this is a little trick you can use on your product pages. More images of the product, specs, what it includes, always have this type of stuff, and then the reviews. This page does not have um, FAQs. I would definitely add them, especially because your product is not known. So definitely have FAQs. All the questions possible that someone might come up with while looking at your product, add those. Like, uh, can they refund it? Um, everything, everything that, even if you've re even you have to repeat stuff that's already written on your page, add those in the FAQs. Okay, so let's go to our page and see how we are gonna build this with WooCommerce and Elementor Pro. Now, you can do this however way you want. So basically, if you feel like implementing these elements on your um, e-commerce, go ahead and do it. Do it one element at a time. I don't want uh, you 
ruining your conversion rates because you know this is general you should be applying or a b testing and um using one element at a time instead of just completely changing um your your shop just because someone told you to told you to okay so let's go ahead and see how i'm going to be doing this now since these elements are part of the template this is a testimonial this is on um, the tagline and we're going to have to be using um, a plugin to do this so go ahead and um, download the advanced custom plug custom fields plugin and go ahead and look for it click on custom fields you should see okay you should see a page like this I've already gone ahead and created the, the custom fields that we're going to be using for products. So just click on add new. You should see a page like this. Give the field a name, give the group a name, and then we start adding the fields. So what I did was I added a field for the product testimonial, and this is the actual text of the testimonial, and then a field for the author. And then the product tagline. It's basically really simple stuff. It's got the name and the label. The name has to be in this format. No caps, no spaces, no symbols. The only symbol you can have, I think, is this underscore. Um, use it as a space, but it has to be one line, no spaces. Let me just expand on this. So this is the label. This is the field name. What type is it? It's a text field. You can make it a text area if you want. Um, you can add the instructions. So if you have any clients, They'll, read, they'll be able to read the instructions and um, be able to implement without you having to go into it. Decide if it's required. Um, definitely make it required for all products. I would, do, I would say that. But this means that the product won't save unless you have this field filled in. And everything else here is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to be wasting your time on this. But basically, that's it. Once you've added these products, we are going to go to our product... And I'll show you. So basically, just the name, the title of the product, um, the URL. When we're scrolling down, and this is the product data standard stuff that all WooCommerce products have. Um, I'm not going to go into this. It's pretty easy. What I am going to go into is, as you can see. Okay, so let's go back to this. Once you've, once you have, just in case you're not familiar, once you've created these. You have to tell WordPress where this product, what, where this um, field group is going to show. So what I decided was, I wrote, show if the post type is equal to product. And that's it. Once you're done, say update. Once you've done this, these three products are going to show on your product page. So these were empty. These were empty. You have to fill them in. That's what I did. I filled them in author and this is the product tagline these were these are not default to your woocommerce page that's why i added them in because um yeah uh, they're not default and i want these to be added to every product page and i would definitely make these required so they're all there obviously if you have thousands and thousands of products this is not for you because you definitely can't be doing this for all products this is for uh, you know a normal um e-commerce with you know a a how do you call it a diamond product a ship flag product that um, um, is, uh, pushes sales on the on the e-commerce site this is the product description as you can see the visual is like this and the text is like this so what I did was since I wanted this text to be smaller I went into text I went into the um, inside this symbol and I and I and I wrote this this type of um, this is called CSS I'm not sure if you're familiar with it you probably are and uh, that's how I made it kind of smaller and then once that's done um, we're good to go add the product image here add more images if you want in product gallery but we should be all set so go ahead and save now we have all the information we need for our product. Now we're gonna go and edit the product um, template, the template that product single products use to display. And we're gonna do that 
with Elementor Pro and uh, we're gonna click on templates theme builder as you see I already created a single product template to do that you just go to single product and then add new and uh, once you've done that you should see an empty page and I'm going to show you all the elements I added to the product template now this is a block that I got from testimonial from this plugin called essential add-ons for Elementor you can do that or you can use a normal one I chose this because it has a little bit more options and a little more styling possibility so that's why I chose this but you can definitely do whatever you want this is not necessary to have that product that um plugin now what happens is that you don't want to be writing this this is this is the template this is um, the um, a template that's going to be loaded each time for each product page so as you see the price is being pulled from the product you're not writing this price down this is taken from the product page and the same thing goes for everything the image the testimonial the tagline the price name this is um yeah the rating oh we added the rating here but it's not showing because obviously this product doesn't have any rating and this is the description that um, is pulling from the product page that we just finished editing so as you can see how do i how do i add these things so this was the testimonial product i'm gonna um, the testimonial block I'm going to show you how to pull information from your um, product. Now, you need Elementor Pro to do this. This dyna the dynamic tags is not available for a normal Elementor. So what I did was, as you can see, this is pu I'm pulling um, the product testimonial author as the username. And this is pulling the product testimonial, the text, as the testimonial description. We don't have a company name, obviously we don't need it, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, you click here, you click on post custom field, and you look at the products that have, now this is showing the products, the um, attributes you have created. So these ones are available um, by the site. This is not stuff I've created. What I did create was these. So what I do was I can just say, let's try and pull the product testimonial author. And you see it's, it's showing it there. I didn't have to write it. So what happens is this template is going to be applied to all product pages and it's going to be pulling the information from the single product um, that you have set up. So you don't have to do it for each, um, each product. Let's just go ahead and delete this. Doesn't matter. The same goes for here. This is a simple heading block. I just go to heading, I pull it here, I'll show you how I did it. As you can see, this, it has a dynamic tag, click on the dynamic tag, post custom field, and the key, we're gonna select the key, and it's, uh, let's say, product, yeah, this is it. Okay, that's the uh, custom field tagline. There you go, that's the tagline, now all you have to do is just um, style it so you would change the size the um, HTML tag I would put this as the h1 and this is the h2 I think but you need to say a SEO guy for that to help you out and then you can just um, edit the typography of that text to, sh to pull the price all you have to do is so this is a rating click on the blocks rating and you just have to pull product rating and it'll show. Same here, Pro I just write price and it's gonna say product price, you pull it. I'll just give you an example and it'll show the price. What happens with the template is it gets the latest product and it shows the information so you have something to work with. So this is basically the above the fold. Now right below the fold, the other famous um, products were using the benefits right below the fold. I'm going to be using this below the fold because I want the benefits uh, related to the product to be above the fold. So people scroll and this is like extra stuff. This is not related to the product. This is extra stuff to convince me to buy. So, so they're like, mm, well, what if I don't like it? 
there's a, there's a risk, a risk free trial. Do I have to pay for delivery? No. What if, what if I don't like it? I have to give it back. No, you don't have to even pay to send it back. And then you get another, you get an extra twenty dollars of voucher if you buy. So you know these elements are available with all the products, and they're just there to convince me to buy, to push me over, you know, the the edge to buy. Can say, don't worry, we got your back. Even if you don't like the product, you won't you won't lose your money. At the end, what we did was with a template. So here is the custom content. To add the custom content, you just go to um, write content. No, I think it's post content. So post content is the block you're gonna have to pull in and put and drop in the middle or whatever you're gonna um, want to add the custom content. And I'll show you how to do that. This is the area where um, the, the content's gonna be custom for the product. And you're gonna be doing that on the product page. This is in the footer. And this is a dynamic thing that's gonna just pull related products. So I just added this title called customers also bought and then put in related products so that people see that, that there's other stuff there and you decide if you want to add this or not. Usually it's a good thing to add related products so people, you know, continue scrolling. If they're not convinced, they'll continue scrolling and then maybe they'll come back. Who knows? So now our template is done. I'll show you how to do that using um, custom attributes. We've got our template, we'll update it, and we're gonna go to our product. So this is our product um, back end. We're gonna go to the product front end, which is, which is um, here. So as you can see, this stuff is not um, modifiable, editable anymore, because this is part of the template. What is editable is this center area where we can add blocks. So once we've added this, what we do is, let's, um, expand on a feature just like this what I would do is um, let's go to our page add it's probably full width I want to um, okay hold on I want to use stuff that Elementor provides so I go to blocks there's single product but we don't want single products we want blocks so what I would do is it's taking a bit of time to load You can see these are the available blocks, but you can see that this is a block you could add. This is another block you could add. There's so many here. So what I would do is just this, you can put a bit, a bit lower. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and add this insert. It's taking a bit of time. Not sure why. Slow internet connection. Come on, come on. If you're watching this, uh, for fast forward until you see, there we go. Okay, so we have a picture and um, we can just uh, go ahead and change it. Click here, upload the picture you wanna load. Um, if you're, this is an icon box, you wanna change the icon, click on the icon. You have a whole bunch of icons you can choose from, look at that. You could lose days in here. If you have an idea of what you're looking for, let's say you want to add a check, write a check, you have similar stuff. Anyways, um, if you don't like the, the, the text, what you could do is, um, yeah, you can't do that, sorry. You could copy the text from your, let's go here, right click, say copy, go back to your single page, and then paste, style and it didn't work <laughs> because who knows why so what i do is i go here and text we're gonna clear yeah it didn't work either we're gonna clear the typography and it didn't work so you're just gonna have, oh text color you see you're just gonna you're just gonna have to um, you know do it manually and once you've done it for one of these all you have to do is say copy and paste style then it works here, the color, change, you know, go to style, click on this, and just change the color to blue or whatever, whatever this color was. And yeah, just keep doing that. Talk about, this would be the title of the benefit that you talked about here. You expand on that, do that for all the benefits, and then what you do is 
add your let's see if it has close that let's see if it has it even has a fax session check it out so there we go fax um there's a lot of styles you can decide from i'll go ahead either this looks pretty cool or this just easier to read oh, i didn't click on insert i'll just click on that insert okay cool so i don't like this um this green thing so i'm just gonna go in style title change the color to blue or whatever once i've done it with once one of them i can just go in and say copy paste but be sure to add all the styling options first to one and then you can just copy and paste to all the other ones so we got the facts down and then what we're going to do is um what do, what do we need we needed we need facts and reviews so clients probably Let's see if clients now these are just logos feature header portfolio pricing single page stats team team testimonials testimonials there we go choose whatever you want so you can have either this which is pretty cool if you have the faces that's really really good or clear one light theme you can even go for carousel here because we also have blocks so testimonial we have a testimonial slider did it add it Upgrade to essential add-ons. Yeah, we don't want that. This is also blocked. So this is with testimonial. We actually have the uh, license activated, but not sure why it's not working. Because otherwise we would not have been able to use um, Elementor Pro. But you have testimonial here. You have the testimonials we had um, used for the, the product template. But you also have testimonial carousel reviews author box etc so that's basically it what i wanted to show you was obviously how to um rev, rev up your product page how to use Ele um, elementor pro and the product template to um you know add extra information to the above the fold so that you don't have to be doing it for every product and that's basically it if you need um, any more tutorials on how to actually implement everything, I'm sure you can find more detailed um, tutorials on Elementor Pro. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next training.